are celebrating Black History Month in Pittsburgh, and there are a few places as steeped in tradition as the Hill District. Royce Jones has a look at a neighborhood filled with community pride and history. Wander through the Hill District, especially coming down Wiley Avenue. And in the matter of minutes, you'll notice the bright brushstrokes of murals illustrating historic tales juxtaposed against boarded up buildings with peeling paint, both providing perspective on black landmarks that have been lost to time and raising questions about what once was. What is that or what was there next door to it? Questions local historian Samuel Black has answers to. There's so much history that has taken place here, so much culture that has existed and continues to exist here. Like where we're standing now, the former Crawford Grill Number no. 2. <laughs> a once thunderous jazz club drawing international sensations like Miles Davis and putting a variety of local talent in the spotlight too. I argue for a city of its size, it had the most significant jazz alumni that came out of this community you can think of. You know, everything from, from pretty much from ragtime, you know, all the way to contemporary jazz. But the Hill District has always been much more than a hub for entertainment. People of more than 25 different European and Middle Eastern nationalities have called this home over the years before eventually becoming a predominantly black neighborhood, a reasonably self-sustaining one too in the early 20th century, giving residents very little reason to leave the Hill. Stores, or you know, doctor's offices, uh, pharmacies, and jazz clubs, you know, and restaurants. But come the 1960s, they did leave, although not because they wanted to. More than 8,000 people were pushed out of the lower hill for the development of the old Civic Arena, moving them up the hill and to other neighborhoods like Homewood and East Liberty, disrupting lives and shattering livelihoods of black business owners, many of whom were never able to recover. And you have to also recognize the fact that there was real estate and infrastructural discrimination against African Americans. Other institutions and churches like Bethel AME, Pittsburgh's oldest black church, also experienced loss during this time due to the change of location. All of this, later coupled with the collapse of the steel industry, caused great financial ruin to this once thriving black community. It was following that same old pattern that took place after World War II which was, we have this growing black community, let's just smash half of it, you know, and take the rest of it for gold. And that's what happened. But today, fences and tarps show signs of growth, like the new Granada Square along Center Avenue, a $2 million mixed-use redevelopment project by the Hill CDC, promoting affordable home ownership and offering artist apartments, as well as cultural and performance space, commercial, retail, restaurant, and office space, too. But while the future once again looks promising for the Hill District, Mr. Black charges everyone to keep retelling the story of the Hill's past. To teach the history makes uh, you understand that you're a part of something larger than yourself and that there's a real responsibility that comes with taking care of that. To keep the history of our community in the forefront of our consciousness so the footprints of those before us can never be washed away. Royce Jones, KDKA News. Oh, I learned a lot. Thank you, Royce.